thought I'd give a bit of an overview of my revamped CNC control electronics that I've been working on. So what we have here is the Quanmax KEEX 2030. Uh, it's a 3.5 inch form factor uh, Atom based PC, basically all in one uh, hard drive sized footprint. Uh, it has a SO DIMM socket on the bottom with a gig in it. And it also has a compact flash socket, which I have a four gig uh, CF card in there with Linux installed uh, with writes pared down to an absolute minimum. It's not a true embedded install, but uh, it's probably gonna last a lot longer than the rest of this stuff will. Uh, so that's pretty cool, no hard drives. Uh, connected to that uh, is a custom PCI riser card that I designed and built. Uh, this was necessary for uh, the mechanicals basically uh, with this motherboard. I am plugging in a parallel port card into this so I did not want the DB25 connector of the parallel port to come out the back panel basically to be in line with all these other connectors. So this little riser card that I designed basically turns the card at a right angle and pulls it back uh, a little less than an inch. There's a PCI Express 1X parallel port card. Uh, I believe it's an Oxford chipset. That is then connected to a Mesa 7i43 uh, running in parallel port mode, the only mode that works with Linux EMC. Uh, it does have a USB port, but Linux does not support that due to real-time constraints. Connected to that over two giant 50-pin ribbon cables is the next board that I designed and built. Uh, this is what I call the CNC breakout board or main board. Basically this takes all the signals from the FPGA card, breaks them out, uh, and brings them out to different connectors that go off to different places. Uh, also provides some buffering and protection. Uh, also has the emergency stop circuit on it. That's what all these relays are for. Um, so there are four headers here that connect off to stepper drivers. As you see here, I've just got one axis wired up right now for testing. Uh, these two larger headers connect off to a board that I designed uh, over here, which is not connected at the moment. Uh, this is a isolated drive for a DC motor controller that runs my spindle. Uh, this allows me to have variable speed spindles under, under computer control, which is pretty cool. Uh, this 40 pin ribbon cable connects to the board that actually ultimately uh, resides in the CNC machine itself. At the moment it's just connected with a short cable. Uh, in, in reality that will be replaced with a 36 pin Centronics cable and there's adapters and all kinds of stuff to do that. But this basically takes in the homing signals uh, for the X, Y, and Z axes. It takes in an index signal for spindle index has some extra I.O. on it just for whatever else I may come up with. Uh, there's some emergency stop uh, inputs here. A couple of extra outputs that I added on there for uh, things like running a coolant pump and things like that eventually that'll just drive solid state relays or something like that. Uh, these are the stepper drives. These are Gecko Drive uh, G203Vs. These are their supposedly most protected unkillable ones. Probably overkill for the application, but they weren't that much more than the regular ones, so I sprung for those a couple years ago when I was first getting into this stuff, just in case. Uh, to run that, I have a giant toroid uh, and a rectifier and, and a filtering capacitor set up here. Uh, this is purchased fairly cheaply from eBay. Uh, and to that, I have a uh, analog ammeter and a digital voltmeter connected to that so I can monitor uh, the stepper drive voltages. I'm running uh, EMC uh, 2.4.3 on Linux for the uh, CNC control. Uh, I've had good luck with this software. I've been running it uh, for quite a while, uh, just driving parallel ports, and now it's going to have a nice upgrade with this FPGA card. So I have my scope set up on the uh, step and direction signals for the X axis that I'm testing and you should be able to hear the motor also in the background. 
Uh, this is running fairly slow. This is probably running about as fast as I was able to run it before with the parallel port. So that's almost 40 kilohertz. So the FPGA card lets me go quite a bit faster than that. Uh, so I can have really fast rapids if I really want. So now I'm doing about 80 kilohertz. 